Okay, so I have your listing up there. We'll talk about some keywords when I finish, but uh, this is this is Sean Hart doing a little training with Christina, uh, one of my favorite students out of Las Vegas. <laughs> we're going to go <laughs> say hello, Christina. Hello. Uh, we're going to go through a little bit of uh, setting up of a promo code so she can promo her first product uh, using the system that we're teaching and mm. as well as show her how to put some inventory in a reserve to, to keep the promo people from blowing out our inventory in a, in a day or two. So anyway, uh, first thing we're going to do, Christina, is to log into your Amazon account, which is right here, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Let's go back to your main page here. And first thing you're going to do where you see it says advertising right here. Okay. We're going to go to uh, manage promotions. And honestly, I don't do this as, as often as I used to. So uh, we may have to do it a couple of times, but we'll figure it out together. Okay. So Perfect. what I like to do is do a money off. And the reason is if, if you do something like um, a percentage off or something like that, then there's a chance that if the promo code gets into the wrong hands, that people can buy 10 or 100 units and just, you know, if you're given like 90% off, for example, then um, we can set it up to where each buyer can only use your promo code one time, but if they fill their shopping cart with your inventory, then they can get 90% off and take it all, and we don't want that. So what we're trying to create here is, is several sales to different buyers, and then, uh, try to get those buyers to leave product review. So what we're gonna do is go here to create a money off coupon. And just telling you right now, this looks like this site's changed since the last time I met it. So, but we'll make it through. So we're gonna create a money off coupon and it's gonna be if the buyer purchases at least one of these items, we're gonna leave this one. Uh, purchase items is gonna be, wow, you already set this up? Oh, I attempted to. <laughs> you attempted to? Okay, let me create a new product selection just so I feel comfortable with it. Okay. Okay, we're going to use the uh, we use the ASIN to do that, and I'm assuming this is the necklace that we want to promote. Correct. Beautiful photograph, by the way. Did you do that yourself? What is it? The uh, picture of the product. Yes. <laughs> no, that's not it. So we're going to copy the ASIN. And we'll do silver necklace. Uh, is that what you named the other one? Silver necklace. Too. I believe it's um, silver chain necklace, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Or sterling silver necklace. It's different. I don't really pay much attention to those. They're just for uh, internal tracking. But mm -hmm. uh oh, this could be an issue. <laughs> because I can't right click, I'm using a Mac. You're gonna have to right click there and paste that oh. ASI in. Okay, got it. I, I know how to do it on my laptop, but I don't know how to do it on this one. I already have it on your clipboard. Okay. I thought okay. I did. Oh, I guess I didn't do it. Okay, um, if you have any changes, if you wanna notate the changes, you can put it in there, but we're not gonna worry about okay. that yet. I'll let you get a little more elaborate later. So this is the one we're doing. So we're going to go back here to create a promotion. I'm going to refresh this so that will take uh, that change will take effect. So we're doing money off, which you want to see here. If the buyer buys at least one piece of, I'll do silver necklace too. Not saying yours was wrong, but just want to make sure it works right. You okay. see where this says percentage off? Never do that. It's always going to be oh. a dollar off dollar amount and this is sells for eleven ninety nine so we're gonna make it ten ninety nine off to make it one dollar and I'll tell you why in just a second. Okay. So it's gonna be one dollar or wait a minute. We're gonna make it ten ninety nine off. Okay. And it's gonna to apply to the purchase items. What we're trying to do uh, we went through a process once where we would make our product actually free, which you know because you were part of my promotional list. Mm -hmm. And what happened was Amazon kind of changing the rules. Um, they want you as a product reviewer, as a, as a, as a buyer, if you were going to leave a product review and you got a product for free, they want you to notate that in your feedback or in your product review 
and that review becomes less valuable than one that someone actually paid for. So a dollar is just close enough to free to make it worthwhile, but still uh, within the Amazon scope of uh, Amazon rules. So that's the way we, that's why we do it that way. So I'm going to try to send your promo out on tomorrow morning. So we're going to go in here and set a start date of tomorrow, Sunday, at uh, 12 a.m. Uh, it's going to be Pacific time. So let's see. I think I'm going to do that for... Let's do it for 4 a.m. Pacific, which will be... 7 a.m. Eastern, right? Yeah. And that will run until midnight. And then when we finish this, I want you to go in there, select the same silver necklace too, and you're going to set up a promo that's going to go on Monday and also on Tuesday and then one on Wednesday just in case we need that. Okay? Got it. So you'll Got have it. everything you need to do that. All right. We're going to use a claim code to make this work. And always check this box, one redemption for a customer or otherwise some unscrupulous people will go in there and buy several of them. I like to change this to make it uh, something that's easy to remember. So we'll just go free neck. It may or may not be available, but it'll tell us here in just a second. It's going to be unrestricted. And then let's review to see if those changes were accepted. We need an internal description, so we're going to go... Free, free necklace one. There's a lag in my typing, sorry. <laughs> free necklace one. And it accepted the code. See, if it didn't, this would be red and it'll, it'll say they change it. So tomorrow, or for the next promo, you can just get creative there. Uh, so at the checkout, you can put in a um, customized message if you want. But the bottom line is we're trying to get this. This is free neck. That's the code we want. So let's review it. And starting tomorrow, ending tomorrow, and it's money off. There's the code, one redemption per customer. This is real important, so always make sure you take care of that. Okay. And everything looks good, so we're going to submit that. Got it. So our coupon code is going to be free neck. Now, when you look at your main page, uh, as, as the codes are running, they'll be right in here to say manage or uh, manage promotions and it'll say free necklace and it'll show you how many that have, how many have went through the system. So okay. uh, next thing is we're going to want to change your inventory, allocate some of that inventory over to uh, reserve status. So can you type in there uh, or put the ASIN, uh, paste the ASIN in there? There you go. Thank you. You're you knew what I was trying to do. <laughs> Okay, so this shows you have 1,000 units available, so we're going to go right here. Now, keep in mind what we're doing here, the, the system within inside of Amazon was not designed to do what I'm showing you to do here. It's kind of a loophole or roundabout way of doing it, but it works, so it doesn't matter. Okay. So we're going to create a, uh, create a fulfillment order right here, and we're going to ship to... Punch in all your information there, Christina. I'll blur it out before I put it on live. Do it right now? Yeah, fill in the information because if we screw up here and actually ship the product, you want it to go to your house. So what I'm going to do, we're going to shoot for giving away 50 of these things a day for the next three days and kind of gauge and okay. see what happens after the first day. So what we're going to do, we're going to create uh, a few different uh, removal orders or fulfillment orders so that when the time comes tomorrow, you can go back in and release these. So um, order date. Okay. This all looks good. We're going to... Change this to 50. Let me think through this in my head real quick. I don't want to do that. We're going to change this to 800 first. Okay. And then 
continue because we're going to try to give away 200 pieces. See where this says hold this inventory up to two weeks? Oh, I see. What this is designed for is if you were to sell a product on eBay, you can go in here and create a fulfillment order. You know that, right? Uh -huh. All right. Yeah. So if you click this hold inventory for up to two weeks, it's going to remove it. And we'll go back in and check and make sure that it puts it, the inventory into reserve status. And when it does, uh, if we don't do anything, then two weeks from today, it'll go ahead and put it back into your uh, active inventory, which is what, okay. we're gonna, what we're trying to work out here. So we're using standard shipping. All this is correct. And it's on hold. Very important. Place the order. It's not going to charge you anything, obviously, because we're not going to let it ship it. <laughs> right. All right, so now we'll go back here, view inventory, and then hopefully you can uh, paste that in there again. All right. And see, it shows you have 200. That's good. So if we click here, 800 in reserve. So what we're going to do, we're going to create four more removal orders, or I'm sorry, fulfillment orders, and we're going to do them 50 pieces at a time. That way, when we sell out tomorrow with your promo, we're going to go back in and release one, and you know that'll make your stock back to 50. That way you don't have to do it every time. So we're going to create a fulfillment order again. Oh, man. This is where you come in. <laughs> Perfect. And you type about 80 miles an hour. That's great. <laughs> All right, so we're going to make 50 of these. Continue. I'll let you do the next two, and then we're going to leave 50 in inventory. So we're going to hold it for two weeks. Everything's good. Place the order. Now, you go back in and uh, repeat what we just did there, and you're going to do it two more times so that your inventory will be 50. Got it. Okay. So just go to return to inventory? Yep. Do exactly what I just did. I wish you had your system set up where it would autofill. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> uh, there you go. Perfect. And the only reason we're putting your name and address in here, uh, number one, we have to fill in those fields. But if we don't, let's say something happens and they ship your product out, you don't want it to go anywhere but to you. Okay, got it. two weeks. Perfect. And place order? Yes. Okay. Now do that one more time. Perfect. We're, we're going to get your inventory down to 50 so that we can run your promo. Got it. Okay. Wow, you're a natural. That's <laughs> easy when somebody holds your hand, isn't it? All right, let's go back and check your inventory status. Let's, let's go back to your inventory and check the status. So we can go here, manage inventory. Have you put in your race in again? Okay, perfect. So what we're going to do, we're going to blow these out tomorrow, okay. and then you'll watch your you'll watch your bestseller rank, and then 
you know, the next, you're going to go in after I hang up with you and create two more promo codes, one for Monday, one for Tuesday, doing the exact same thing that we just did. And then uh, send me the promo code, say this one's for Sunday, this one's for Monday, this one's for Tuesday. We'll get those three going and then we'll circle back on Tuesday to see how your bestseller rank's doing. Okay. And when we do that, uh, we may or may not do another one uh, on Wednesday to get rid of another 50. So do you okay. are you familiar with creating the super URL to link back to your product? Um, no, I'm not. Okay. Well, I'll do that for you. So, yeah, uh, we're all good there. Now, what was your question about the... Well, actually, I better save that for something else. Let me let me kill this just a second, and that concludes so for, our... For Monday and Tuesday, do you want me to create a different um, name for the code instead of free next? Do you want me to do like free next two, free next um, three? Yeah, you're going to have to do... Uh, it has to be eight letters, and you're going to have to... You're going to have to make it unique, so just get creative. So. Okay. And then uh, you can send me those codes. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this because this concludes what we set out to do, and that was to create a coupon code and to change your inventory okay. status to reserve. Uh, just one second here.